Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am super excited to be here with you today because this is kind of my Saturday morning girlfriend chat about the makeup products that I am absolutely loving right now. These are my true favorites. I have one that was a fail and I'll show you that later on and I'm really surprised by that particular fail. But if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that make us feel beautiful and wonderful as we age, then I hope you'll subscribe and when you click that little bell that just sends you email notifications of my future videos and if you could give this video a thumbs up that would help this video do better in the YouTube algorithm. Okay let's get down to this and before I get into showing you my absolute most wonderful favorite makeup faves right now and they are some good ones and I have them on right now I did want to show you a top that I just purchased from Thread Up. I did kind of my own Thread Up haul and I thought about showing the whole haul to you, but then I realized that on Thread Up it's kind of an individual thing, it's one item at a time. But I love Thread Up because it allows me to get good quality designer brand clothing at a really bargain price. And they are gently used clothes. And in fact, you can put in your search new or appears new, and that's what I always do. And here is one that is from Banana Republic, and it's just a nice little fall sweater, just kind of a basic, but I think it was like $10, and it was appears new, and it certainly did appear new when I got it. And I did want to let you know that there is a good deal below the video, which is a code where if it's your first time shopping at ThreadUp, you get a $10 credit and I get one too. So when you shop at ThreadUp, you help yourself to great clothes and you help me get some good ones too. Okay, let's get into this makeup. And my first makeup product I am so sad about. Here it is and I broke it. It has a hair on it and it is broken. And I am so sad because this is absolutely my new Holy Grail foundation. And actually the minute I broke this this morning, which it is kaput, I can't use it. It probably has glass in there. But I ran right over to the computer here and ordered it on Ulta and I was really happy because when I first ordered this about four weeks ago, a lot of the colors were out of stock. And when I saw it on Ulta this morning, only one color was out of stock and mine was in stock. So I did go ahead and reorder because this is bar none my absolute favorite foundation, at least up to now. And I plan to keep using this because it is truly wonderful. And it is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. And it has ingredients that supposedly improve your skin actually in two weeks. And I don't know if it does that, but I have to say, I don't think my skin has ever looked better. And that is unusual for me to feel like that. Lately, a lot of the things I've been doing to my skin just seem to be giving it more of a radiance. And this certainly gives you radiance too. It is a medium coverage, buildable foundation. You can put it on as sheer as you want. But as you can see, it looks absolutely like real skin, but better, as they say, your skin, but better. And if you haven't tried this yet, it has a full range of colors that would match any skin tone. And I think this is absolutely fabulous. And, and to apply the foundation, I used this wonderful foundation brush from Real Techniques. It's really very reasonable in price. I think it's under $20. In fact, I know it is. And it is called the Real Techniques Blend and Blur Foundation Brush. And I'll link a video that I did specifically about this brush below this video because this brush is a game changer if you really want smooth and flawless foundation. For several years, I had used the Sigma Kabuki brush, but I noticed that over time it kind of streaked on my foundation and I really had to be careful about streaks. And this brush just has all of these thousands of little tiny fine hairs. And really, I almost never get a streak when I apply this. Number one, it feels like smooth mink on your skin, whatever mink feels like. And it also just totally blends and blurs out your foundation, which is the name of the brush, the Blend and Blur Foundation Brush. I have this version and I also have the contour version, which is a smaller version of this. And I swear by either one of them if you want your foundation to go on flawlessly. Now to set my foundation for the longest time, I was using a Chanel powder, which was extremely expensive. And I think it went out of stock, which makes me really sad. But recently I've been using this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder in the color translucent. And here it is, and it is very, very messy, and I won't get the powder out for you, but it just kind of shakes out like that. And I apply it with a big fluffy foundation brush, and it sets my foundation and gets rid of the greasy look that I have to my skin because I still do have oily skin at 62. I know it is crazy, but my skin is very oily, but this just blurs out all of the oil and gives my skin just a beautiful radiance. And although nothing can actually get rid of large pores, it really does blur them out and make them blend into my face seamlessly. 
absolutely love this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. Now, in terms of a loose powder, I see I need a little bit right now because I am a little bit shiny in places, and I can't get away from this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, and I use it in the color 2 medium, and this is probably my fourth compact of this, and so I'll just go ahead and put a little on right there. There we go. See, it just kind of, whoa, I got a little too much there. A little bit on the nose, a little bit up here. But that's how that works. And again, just like the IT Cosmetics Loose Powder, it just makes your skin look very natural and very fine and really rather flawless. Now, my next two makeup products I am super excited about because they are eyeshadow palettes, and I'm very picky about eyeshadow palettes. For the most part, even very high-end palettes I usually don't like because they kick up a lot of powder and they have a lot of colors that I can't use because really, who uses raspberry or lime green? I know those palettes are designed for much younger women. Also, many of the palettes out there tend to have too much shine. And this first one does have shine, but I have it on my eyes right now, and it is very manageable in terms of its glitter and gleam. And it is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And for those of you who have not tried the Natasha Denona eyeshadow formulas, they are wonderful. Very beautiful colors, very blendable. They don't go on chunky. And take a look at those very, very natural colors. Now, if you're anywhere near my age, I would say 40 and above, these neutrals are really where it's at for us. And I'll show you the exact shades I have on my eye right now. On my lid, I use this color called Center Eyelid. It's really nice. They have the locations listed instead of just kind of funky color names. So this is above my eyelid. And then this is my crease color here. And I went a little bit underneath my eye with this brown color, which says crease. And then I use this, and they call this color transition, but to me it was perfect to go under the brow bone. They actually call this the brow bone color, which I have used, and it is very pretty, but it has a little more glitter and gleam to it. Oh heck, let me put a little bit up there, because it is very pretty. I'll just use my finger. That just gave me a little bit of a shimmer, but not bad at all. And this palette is about $65, so it's a little on the pricey side. But if you're a higher-end palette girl, I would not look any further than this palette because it's neutral colors, it's manageable shine, and it really is glam, like it says. Now, this second palette I have been using for about the past three months, and it's hard to put it down because for a daily palette, this one is fabulous. And this is probably my absolute favorite eyeshadow brand, bar none. And this is the Too Faced eyeshadow palette. This is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes eyeshadow palette. And here it is. And one thing I do like about it, it has a little instruction booklet, which gives you some eyeshadow looks, which is always wonderful. And here is a look at that palette. And as you can tell, I'm already getting through some of those colors. I have hit pan on this color already after a couple of months. And this is a wonderful lid color, especially if you have small lids, because when you use this light color, it kind of brings them forward. Look at that, absolutely a beautiful light shimmer there. I use this on the lids, and then I use this as a crease color. And that is just a very natural brown crease color. And to me, the Too Faced transition colors are about as natural as they come. They're not too cool, they're not too warm, they're totally universal. And I've also been trying a little bit of this color on my eyelid. And if you want a little darker color, that's a little bronzy color there. You can't really tell. Let me see if I can make it look a little more bronzy. Okay, there we go, it's a little more bronzy, but it is also an absolutely beautiful lid color. This color right here called Coco, and here it is, it is also very, very good in the transition, a little bit darker than this color. So if I'm looking for a good evening look, I always go to this darker color, but this is an absolutely beautiful neutral palette, and I think you would really like it. Okay, something else that I have on my eyes really helps make them pop, makes them look a little more special. And this is Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the color Jean. And what it is, it's a wonderful little cream eyeshadow. And you can use this all over your eyelid if you just want that nice little sparkly champagne-y color. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And a good way to apply this is actually just dipping your finger in and just lightly patting it on your eyelid there. How I applied it this morning, though, was I used just a little flat brush here. I'll put a little bit more on there. It's a little bit dangerous, but here we go. Just kind of put it right there. See that beautiful shine? I'll do the other eye so you can see how it looks. 
And sometimes even for every day, especially with the COVID situation we've been going through, it just feels good to add a little something special, a little glitter and gleam, just to kind of pick yourself up from these kind of difficult times that we've been going through. Sometimes adding a little something special to your makeup is a wonderful pick me up. Now on my brows, I've been trying something brand new. I've only had it about a week, but I really like it so far. This is the Revital Lash Cosmetics Brow Gel, and it is in the color Soft Brown, and it comes with a wonderful little comb and brush on top. And basically it applies much like a mascara. You just take it out of the little tube, and here it is, and I'll show you that color Soft Brown. If I can make it, if I can make it show. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a very, very natural color. And you just apply it to your brows and it not only colors them, but it does keep them in place. And the thing I particularly like about this is that I'm starting to get problems with long gray eyebrows and my brows are thinning, so I never like to pull those out. And this allows me to color those gray brows and make them look soft brown as the color implies. And it just blends them in beautifully so I don't have to pluck them. Now, next I'm going to be talking with you about mascaras, and I have two products here. The first is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara, and the second is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And I absolutely love the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. And look at my lashes. They're really not in a long phase right now. As you know, lashes go through growing and resting stages and mine are not in the longest phase, but this is a tubing mascara, so it coats each lash and makes them look really long and full and wonderful. Absolutely love this one. Now, this one is my fail, and I was really surprised by this. I ordered this after watching one of Angie of Hot and Flashy, one of her faves videos, and she absolutely loved this, and she said this was her holy grail mascara. And I was so excited to get it because I thought, if Angie likes it, it's gotta be great. But I got it and I used it for two mornings in a row and both mornings I was quite underwhelmed. Basically, I guess it works if you want a super natural looking mascara. It has this unique wand which actually bends. And I have to say, Angie was right, that's kind of nice that it does bend. But in terms of thickening my lashes or making them look longer, I really had to build and build and build to get any particular look of mascara out of this. And then I did get it looking pretty good. And one thing about it is, if you like natural lashes, it does not clump, that's for sure. It's very natural looking. But I finally got enough on there and I applied the mascara. And then about noon, I looked in the mirror and one of my eyes looked like it had no mascara on at all, and the other one just looked like it had a little bit of mascara. I don't know what it is about this mascara, but for me, it was a fail. Well, we're starting to wind down on makeup. I have a few more makeup faves to show you, and then I just have a few more bonus items at the end, other products that I absolutely love. And this is the blush that I have on now, and it is my all-time favorite. And I have to say, you know me, I love bargains, but these Chanel blushes, in my opinion, just cannot be matched. And this is the Chanel Jus Contrast Blush in the color Rose Ekron. And as you can tell, I have used the heck out of that. It's a little pricey, but it does last a long, long time. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit more on. That's always dangerous, but I love this color. It has a little bit of a natural nude rosy color to it, and it has the tiniest little bit of iridescence, which just really emphasizes the cheekbones. I love these Chanel blushes, and I intend to keep buying them. Now, if you're more in the market for a drugstore type blush, then these are absolutely fabulous. These are the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blushes, and I have it in two colors. I have it in the color 410 Rosewood, and in the color Peony, and they are absolutely beautiful. I'll show you Peony right now. And I like these blushes because they go on very, very naturally, and they're very buildable, and they just have a little bit of a satin type radiance. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get a little more here. But it's absolutely just a very subtle shine to it. It just has a little bit of radiance, as the name implies. And this is part of L'Oreal's new line called Age Perfect. And I'm going to be trying more of this line within the next month or so. When you call it Age Perfect, it has my name all over it because I'm all about the anti-aging. But if you're looking for a brand new drugstore blush that subtly brings on the glow, you might want to give this a try. Okay, my last makeup item is also drugstore, and this is the Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette, and I totally love this. Not only do I love that gorgeous blush color, and look at that, absolutely a beautiful kind of fuchsia-ish pink, which is one of my favorite colors. The thing I like most about this is actually this highlighter. 
Look at that. That is quite the highlighter. It looks a little bit glowy in the pan, but even though I'm up in my 60s, I can wear this. And the thing I like about it is that usually when you get a highlighter, either it's designed for older skin and you can hardly see it, or it's a wow wow highlighter that looks like headlights for a 19-year-old. This one actually does give you the look of a little bit of a highlight, which I like. It's not totally invisible. I'll see if I can apply it there. I, I actually love this and it keeps me coming back and back and back to this palette because I like the fact that you can actually see it and I don't know if you can see it right there but it just gives you that beautiful radiance and I've tried many different highlighters of all different price points and I keep coming back to this one and the contour in this palette is very good too here I'll see if you can see that it's just a very very natural brown it is not too orange so if you're looking for a very poppy pink blush and a very natural contour and highlighter you might check this out now my last makeup products are lip products and it's what I have on today and I've been wearing this probably in the last four or five videos I've done because I absolutely love it. I had really gotten kind of addicted to nude colored lipsticks and all of a sudden I thought I really want to try something with a little bit of color and I had this in my makeup stash and I had actually found this one time last spring when I was in Dillard's and I saw the lady behind the matte counter and her lips looked fabulous and she had this on and I'll go ahead and apply it again so you can see what it looks like. There we go. There it is. Absolutely beautiful. And the color is called You Wouldn't Get It. Let me show it to you. And to me, this is an absolute universal color because it is really a dark nude color with a little bit of rosiness to it but it's not too pink, it's not too purple, it's not too brown. It is absolutely the perfect color if you're used to nudes, but you really want to have a little bit of a lipstick color. For the fall and winter, if you need a little more color, you might want to check this out. Now, the lip liner that I have with this is a very different sort of a lip liner. It is called the Milani Understatement Lip Liners. That's the line there, and understated is truly the word. This is the one I have on now, and it is called French Rose. And look at that little tiny tip. And the thing I like about it is it's got a little self-sharpening tip, but it is a tiny little tip. And it does not give you those big overblown lines. It's actually a nice little subtle line. And personally, I think the style in lipsticks is going to more of a little subtle line, more of a way to make your lipstick look perfect and not really emphasize the line itself. Well, heck, I want to put it on. I'll go ahead and, and show you again. So here we go. See, it's just a little tiny line, very small. So that's how that looks. You would never look at me and say, oh, she's got a big wide lip line on, but you might look at me and say, oh, her lipstick just looks so nice. And that is really the look I want because I did get lip fillers and I really don't want to emphasize that so much. I like them, but I don't want them to look any bigger and puffier than they already are. So this lip liner really does the trick. And if you need something that's in a pinky tone, I really recommend this French Rose, absolutely beautiful color. But if you want more of a nude, here is the same thing in a color called Nude Embrace. I'll go ahead and try both of them for you. Here is the Nude Embrace. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a brownie nude. And next I'll show you the French Rose. Kind of wind it up there a little bit. So there is the French Rose. It's a little bit more of a pinky color. And this is the Nude Elegance color, which is really a universal nude. Absolutely love these new Milani formulas, and Milani is a fabulous drugstore line. Okay, the next two products are hair products, and they have allowed me to do my hairstyle like this today. And I know many of you are thinking, you know, what's the big deal about Beth's hair today? Because it's very, very simple, which it is. It's just blow dried and flat ironed and kind of puffed up on top. Well, in the past, I've never really been able to do this style very easily at all. And instead I use the buff style where I put a big puff here and I kind of keep it in place with this little three inch Walmart comb. But that is what I normally do because it is very hard for me to get height otherwise. And my next two products really have enabled me to switch to this more simple hairstyle. The first is the Fido Keratine Extreme Hair Mask. And I did a video about this, a fall masking video, which I'll link below. But this mask is phenomenal. 
You use just a quarter size drop of this, so even though it's kind of expensive, it will last you a long time. I've used it three times now, and I actually use it every time I wash my hair. And I only wash my hair two to maybe three times a week, more like two times a week, so it's not that big a deal. And the thing I absolutely love about this mask is it's extremely highly rated for rebuilding damaged hair, and my hair is a medium brown colored blonde, so it is damaged. But I have really noticed that since using this, my hair just seems to be soft and silky and in much better condition. And the second thing I like about this is, while in the past I had to use like 20 to 30 minute deep conditioning masks, this gives you the same result as a deep conditioning mask. In fact, it is a deep conditioning mask, but you only keep it on your hair three to five minutes long. So it is a really quick option to give you fabulous, well-conditioned hair if you don't have a lot of time. So this has really, really helped me. And the second thing which has really, really helped me is this Big Sexy Hair Powder Play Light. And I have two of them here because I'm about out of this one. And I actually saw this advertised as a free product on Octoly. And since I absolutely love this and needed it anyway, I ordered it from them. I have used this product probably on and off for seven, eight years. And now that I'm wearing my hair like this more often, I use it every single time I style my hair. And I won't put it on my hair because my hair is already styled. But this is a very, very strange product and it is a great way to give yourself phenomenal volume. It comes out like a powder. You can see it looks like a little powder there. And you put it in the areas where you want volume and you do a little teasing or whatever you need to do. And it's funny because once you put it into your hair, it kind of turns into a semi-liquid and you can feel it. And it gives your hair some grit and heft and it really allows you to get fabulous body. And as we get to be a little more mature, unfortunately from the years about age 40 onward, our hair does tend to thin out a little bit and mine is certainly no exception. And this big sexy hair powder play is really giving my rather thin hair a more hefty, volumized look. Okay, this is my last beauty fave and this is a face mask. In fact, I used it the fourth time this morning and I'll tell you why I did that in just a few moments. But this is a wonderful mask if you want your skin to have that young, glowy, kind of fine skin look. You know, I had used Retin-A for about three years here on YouTube and I kept waiting to get that young, glowing skin that the young girls have because tretinoin is scientifically proven to give you younger looking skin and I kept waiting for that radiant thing to happen and it never did. And then about four or five months ago, I finally realized the reason for that and that is that you can use all the tretinoin you want in the world, but unless you have a good program to exfoliate your skin, it's not going to have that glowy, beautiful, fine skin look that the young girls do. And that is exactly what this product gives to you. In fact, it's called the Ren Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask, and you just apply it to your skin and leave it on for 10 minutes and then you wipe it off. It doesn't dry or anything like that but it is rich with glycolic acid. And it is almost like having a glycolic acid peel because for several days after this, you do tend to get just a little bit of light peeling. But what has happened to me recently is that I have been getting fine peeling down in this area because I started using SkinCeuticals Vitamin C along with another serum and I think it was too harsh for my skin. So I got a lot of peeling over the last few days from that. So I knew I needed to make a video today. So this morning I did a 10 minute application of this and it totally got rid of all those little Retin-A peelies. So that was absolutely wonderful. And if you also suffer from occasional Retin-A bouts of peeling, then I think you would really, really like this mask because it totally got all those little Retin-A peelies off of my skin. So it looked good in the short term, but over time, I really think the exfoliating action of this Ren mask will truly give you younger, more line-free, more radiant skin. Well, that was a look at my makeup faves and I absolutely love them. I didn't put any dogs in this video. They're all the products that I totally use and enjoy. And if you're interested in all things that make us feel beautiful as we get to be more mature, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and uh, here we go. This is the Miracles Now card deck from Gabrielle Bernstein. Ooh, I'm not even going to sort through these. I saw this one and this is so darn true. I had to share it with you today. Happiness is a choice I make. Happiness is a choice I make. Friends, this is a fabulous card. And you know, from all the cards that have been in that deck, I should really take this one out and keep it with me because I need this reminder constantly. 
and it is really, really true. And I've been working on this issue because in my first half, I always kind of saw the glass as a little bit half empty. And in my second half, I realize in reality, my glass is pretty darn full and I want to be happy about that. And so friends, just for today, let's really take this deep into our hearts and internalize it. Happiness is a choice I make. Happiness is a choice I make. Happiness is a choice I make. So friends, just between you and me, just for today, it's always good to do things one day at a time. Today, let's make every choice we make a happy one and we can have a better day, a better month, and hopefully a much better second half. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.